Well, hello, my fellow Carmelers. How are you doing today? We're going to do a quick video on something. We're going to talk about chrome paint, seeing like chrome paint's all the rage, but wait, we're taking a blast, you know, from the past, man. And uh, <laughs> I just want to talk about this. I just recently found it. So let's, let's, let's get into this, you know. We're not showing off the Ravel stuff that everybody's losing it over. I just want to just talk about this little gem that I just found. All right, so I was gifted a whole bunch of paints a while back, and I was skimming through them. I was finding some cool, neat little artifacts, and uh, I found this one, and I'll tell you, it's it's pretty interesting. Uh, as you see, it's testers. This is not available now. My friends, this is from the 80s. Let's see. Testers, corporate, it says a date here. Um where i got a kick out of it it doesn't really have a date on it i don't think you know, is there anything under there and there's that but you guys probably who've been in the hobby since the 80s can tell this is kind of 80s packaging um yeah it is not this yeah it's this stuff was was on the shelves back in the 80s i bought some back then and i i have some really fond memories of it um good or bad <laughs> i have some fond memories of this and when i found this can of paint i was like oh god i gotta hold on to this i'm not going to use it i know oh don't i'm sorry i'm not going to demo this today uh, but i i do have results that are very interesting that i am going to show you but uh you know all this thing about chrome paint it's kind of you know there never was really chrome paint out there uh, there, there were, they would claim to be chrome, but it really would come out silver. All the years of all the stuff. Then we started getting chrome paints, of course. Then Molotow was something big, and this was big. All the paint manufacturers are doing their own paint, uh, chrome paint. And then there's, you know, uh, the Ravel stuff, which I haven't gotten a can. I've been wanting to try some out and do some experiments, experiments. But I haven't uh, really had the time or, or anything to, to get into that. Um, but I have this. And uh, I really got to tell you something. I'm going to show you some results that are old. That this stuff back in the 80s was the best chrome paint I ever found. And I just let's take a close look here. Just a cool packaging. Of course, you know, it's got my favorite favorite of all time car and what's more appropriate for chrome than a 57 chevy right you can totally tell that that's a model there but uh this chrome really wasn't that bad um there's let's see what the top says and this uh what we got yep this chrome let's let's see it's i can't even it's never been opened let me hold on a second let me get uh an opening device if i have something that i can use knocking everything over let's get in there and this is always fun you can tell these these old oh it has been used someone had shot it before it's good i i, I don't really want to huh. i don't know maybe 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 let's since it's been shot i'm gonna change my mind let's let's shoot something in chrome and this never said anything i don't think it said anything about needing to put black down um So let's uh, let's get something and, and do a little tryout. What the heck, right? You know, for fun. Give me a moment. I gotta pull my brains out of my skull. Let me get my. Uh, it's, one thing I remember about this stuff is it was stinky. It really was. So got my spray booth here. I usually only do acrylics with this stuff. Uh, what can we paint? Got all kinds of things around here, and nothing to paint. Nothing to paint. I just got a scrap piece of something. Ah, what the heck? Here we go. It's already black. Uh, it's from a old. It's dirty. <laughs> Let's blow that off a bit. Blow the dust off. This is a uh, from a 
from a NASCAR kit, the trunk area from a monogram NASCAR kit. Let's get this shaken up. Let's take a look at this. While I'm doing this, let me tell you something. So check this out. I bought this chrome paint back in like 1988. I was building a model of a pro mod car. I scratch built the whole chassis. Everything it was really a terrible model. I've showed it in one of my junkyard that video right there. And here's a clip. I'm not going to go pull the, the model out, but here's a clip of the chassis. If you guys remember this chassis. And you can see it's a little dusty. And again, 1988, I sprayed this stuff. And you can see that um, it, it's held up. It really has held up. So it was good stuff. But this paint's very old, so let's see what happens. I'm just going to do a little... Oh, and one thing. Oh, boy, yeah. Ugh. Oh, that smell. Yeah, and look at how it pukes out. It's not going to do it. This stuff's so old. It's just silver. <laughs> oh, that was fun. So, but... Again, let me put this back up uh, of the model that I I painted when it was uh, a brand new can. That stuff, uh, it, it, it laid out okay. I remember it coming out splotchy, you know, as testers. It's the one thing I hated about testers. If you, I wish we had smell-o-vision. Holy cow. Oh, that smell, that brings back some memories. What is it? BG says, it's the smell of disappointment. <laughs> testers, the smell of disappointment. So we painted that chassis all up and <laughs> it, it gave the effect. It wasn't really chrome chrome, but it, what I liked about it, because I did that interior and I figured, you know, that that was what I was thinking when I bought the chrome paint. It was the best looking paint at the time to uh, replicate like stainless steel interior. And uh, I think it did the job. But now we're looking and this stuff does not do the job. It looks just like silver paint now. But of course, that's what happens to chrome paint over time. You, you, uh, like Molotow. I threw a Molotow pan that was practically, you know, only used a little bit. And uh, um, it just it was just was coming out gray, grayish silver. So it was it was absolutely worthless. So let me get this out of the way. Let this stinky thing fermento oh gosh i got a whiff of it wow memories memories so that was fun uh i will again put the cap back on this is man caps were so hard i remember that you had to pry these things off i like how they have them today heck take this uh this uh to me here it just comes right off to me a spray so much better such a such a better 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 technology in their their nozzles but so there you go that that's the funness of it all uh testers chrome paint packaging super cool this is an artifact for me i'm just going to keep it up on the on the shelf it looks cool i love old stuff like that it gives me memories just like the box art i i put this with like a lot of my box art kits you know that i bought because i you know they gave me great memories i love them all up on the wall so it's going to go up on the wall just as a great memory um, I had a good time. I got great memories of building that model, and I remember painting and smelling the stink that I smell right now. Uh, too bad you guys can't enjoy that, but uh, yeah, there you go. There it is, the original chrome paint. I don't know if there was any others, but this was the first for the model car world, or the modeling world in general. And testers was king back then, and they came out with a chrome paint. So I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> it was just, I, I had to share this with you. It's a, uh, gosh, I, I'm telling you, I'm smelling this paint. Because you guys made me spray it. Man, I thought you guys were my friends. Yeah, you are my friends. Hey, man, have a great rest of your weekend. Wow. Have a, blah, 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 blah. Have a great West. I can't speak. It is the weekend. I cannot say anything. Have a great rest of your weekend. And we will see you probably tomorrow. I got some other videos I'm going to do. And uh, a lot of cool things going on lately. And uh, hey, real quick, I just want to tell you, I just restocked Andy's HHQ with some of my resin. I got great news back that uh, I found a clear resin. Now I'm able to 
make all my lenses and like especially for that Camaro kit I can go back to making some red taillight lenses I might make some in clear I wish I could give you guys a choice but it's just too difficult to do that so I will come out with some that are going to be clear it's just the luck of the draw when you buy them they're over on Andy's right now I stocked them up and I'm going to stock more next week along with a whole bunch of other things and we got some new things coming out there's a video coming here soon of some new stuff from Lucas C products so thanks a ton for watching and we will see you later and like we always say here why do we build car well you know I say this. I say it, right? Let's let's say it right. Let's what's the question we always ask here? Why do we build model cars with chrome paint? For realistic models that is. Realistic. Let's not get that wrong. Metallic chrome, realistic. We build these realistic model cars. Why? Cuz they're fun. It's simple. Here's the producers.